Camille. Yeah, this is creating quite a controversy, as you said. Of course, all just over a social media post and now bad reviews for the ice cream place from some people who have never even been here. Take a look. On a hot summer night, people lined up for ice cream at Cold Truth Soft Serve in Midtown. From their walk-up window, they serve up a variety of flavors, all vegan, all made from scratch. But it's this social media post that's causing a bit of a kerfuffle pointing out a police cruiser parked in the wrong direction near the business, saying they can tolerate the wrong way parking, but that they won't serve anyone wearing body armor. I, I think that Cold Truth has always kind of taken a uh, very progressive stance in the things that they do. A spokesperson with the Detroit Police Department says the officers didn't even try to buy ice cream. Police Chief James White issuing a statement saying, quote, members of DPD wear body armor to protect themselves so they can return home safely. It's a shameful post and apparently unprovoked. We are extremely thankful for the overwhelming response and support we receive from the community. We've attempted to reach out to the shop's owner in hopes of having a thoughtful conversation. After the social media post, a flurry of one-star reviews on Google for Cold Truth. The owner of the business declining to speak to Fox 2 on camera, but he issued a statement saying, quote, Cold Truth is a family community ice cream spot. There are times when police units come through here and are outfitted in heavy duty tactical gear. It is disturbing and unsettling for some of the families in our space. In the last 24 hours, it has come to my attention that the city of Detroit outfits EMS and fire with armor, and this is not my concern. It's the heavy duty military dress that I'm hoping the city can find a way to minimize in our public spaces. Some wondering, was all of this hubbub really necessary? Do I think it could have been handled differently? Um, I, yeah, I, I'm sure it could have been handled differently, but I don't think that putting a critique of the police on social media is, is really uh, the end-all be-all of things. So it may not affect the police department, but will it affect the ice cream shop? Business was good today. It was really busy, but there are so many bad reviews now, not only on Google, but also on the Facebook page of the business. People who haven't even been here, but who are just chastising them about this. A big mess. We'll have to see how it all plays out. But another thing I want to point out, too, is that it's not completely clear if the police officers and the cruiser were even wearing body armor at the time. Again, they never even approached the window, never even tried to get ice cream. Reporting live in Midtown, Camille Amiri on the edge. You know, it's funny that something like that would be posted, Camille, when they don't even or there weren't any other pictures of these police officers and what they claimed were of offensive uh, body armor gear, which we know is really part of their uniform. So they can, like the chief said, come home safely to their families. It sounds very ridiculous. Right. It, it really is. And to be honest with you, I mean, if that's part of their uniform, that's part of their uniform, right? I mean, you know, they are armed with guns. They can go get food during their break. Again, they weren't coming to get food here. They were parked on the street. You know, this could have been handled in many different ways. Uh, but bottom line, they were not refused service. But clearly the ice cream shop owner says he doesn't want to see the body armor. But again, if that's part of their uniform, that's part of their uniform. We can't do our jobs without our microphones. People might say they don't want to see the mic flag. But, you know, what are you going to do? People need to think before they post. Camille, thank you.